Next, we'll take a look at describing appearances of people, animals, and things using short adjective phrases. The basic sentence pattern that we use for describing things is similar to the way we used ski and kirai uh, to say that we like or dislike things back a couple lessons ago. Uh, this simple pattern is used commonly to describe things in Japanese. Uh, there are some differences, however, where the physical appearance of people and, well, animals are concerned. The Japanese phrase things a little bit differently than we do in English. Let's take a look, for example, at the sentence below. In English, the sentence, Tom's hair is long, could be used to describe Tom's physical appearance, the length of his hair in this case. Uh, we might phrase that in Japanese thusly. Tom-san no kami wa nagai desu. It is, however, more natural uh, pattern of phrasing this sentiment in Japanese to say it like this. Tom-san wa kami ga nagai desu. Contrast that with the former version from the previous slide, that is Tom-san no kami. Certainly in English we say Tom's hair is long, and we've got that apostrophe s, therefore we can kind of link it with the no here, as we know that the particle no can be used to indicate possession, but Japanese tend not to phrase things this way. They will stick with this phrase, that is Tom-san wa kami ga nagai desu. So let's break this down. The basic pattern then is noun followed by wa, a physical feature followed by the particle ga, and then an adjective followed by des. Again, that's the same pattern we used in the previous example, tom-san followed by the topic marker wa, kami referring to his hair, ga our uh, particle here we'll use to connect uh, nouns and the adjectives that describe them, followed by the word des. Let's take a look at some example sentences to give you a better feel for how these work. Zō wa hana ga nagai desu. Zō wa hana ga nagai desu. Elephants have long noses. Doraemon wa Atama ga okii desu. Doraemon wa atama ga okii desu. Doraemon has a big head. Kirin wa kubi ga nagai desu. Kirin wa kubi ga nagai desu. Giraffes have long necks. Kaba wa kuchi ga okii desu. Kaba wa kuchi ga okii desu. Hippos have big mouths. Alpaka wa kegawa ga fuwa fuwa desu. Alpaka wa kegawa ga fuwa fuwa desu. Alpacas have fluffy fur. Iruka wa atama ga ii desu. Iruka wa atama ga ii desu. Dolphins have good heads. In other words, they're smart. Tengu wa hana ga nagai desu. Tengu wa hana ga nagai desu. Tengu have long noses. Pikachu wa ashi ga chisai desu. Pikachu wa ashi ga chisai desu. Pikachu has small feet. Kabi wa me ga okii desu. Kabi wa me ga okii desu. Kirby has big eyes. Gude tama wa oshiri ga kawaii desu. Gude tama wa oshiri ga kawaii desu. Gude tama has a cute butt.
or don't he just? You can also use the past tense to say that a person was such a way. In this case, the sentence Einstein was smart in Japanese would be rendered thus. Einstein wa atama ga yokatta desu. Einstein wa atama ga yokatta desu. Einstein was smart. Ganji wa kao ga yasashikatta desu. Ganji wa kao ga yasashikatta desu. Gandhi had a kind face. Okay, are you ready for some practice? I'll give you two words, uh, a person or a noun, an animal of some sort, and then a bodily attribute, um, hair or a nose or something like that. And I'd like you to pause the video uh, after I've shown you that pair of words. See if you can come up with a sentence, speak it out loud or just think it in your head, uh, describing that physical attribute of that person or that animal. Here we go. The words are Onesan Kami. Pause the video here. Your sentence describing your older sister's hair should sound a little something like this. Onesan wa kami ga nagai desu. Onesan wa kami ga nagai desu. Kappa, mimi. Kappa, by the way, are mythological Japanese creatures that live in rivers, enjoy cucumbers, and eating small, unruly children. Look them up. Kappa, mimi. Pause the video. Kappa wa mimi ga chisai desu. For this next one, tomodachi kami. My friend's hair is red. Pause here, see if you can figure out how to say it. Tomodachi wa kami ga akai desu. Tomodachi wa kami ga Akai desu. Oni. Kuchi. So the demon has a big mouth, or the ogre has a big mouth. Pause the video here. Oni wa kuchi ga okii desu. Oni wa kuchi ga okii desu. Onesan. Hana. My older sister has a big nose. How would you say this? Pause here. Onesan wa hana ga takai desu. Takai. So this word. Japanese don't say hana ga oki. If you have a big nose, they say hana ga takai. In other words, you have a nose that stands out high from the surface of your face has always been my assumption. At any rate, the Japanese do not use hanaga oki. Hanaga takai would be the phrase for someone with a big nose. Not that I know anything about that. Baku hana. The baku, by the way, is a legendary mythological Japanese creature that eats your dreams uh, at night. I assume he vacuums them up through his long, long nose. Actually, I'm not sure how it works. At any rate, see if you can come up with a sentence for the baku has a long nose. Pause the video here. Baku wa hana ga nagai desu. Baku wa hana ga nagai desu. Usagi mimi. Pause the video here. Usagi wa Mimi ga nagai desu. Usagi wa mimi ga nagai desu. Rikishi, that's the word for a professional sumo wrestler. 
お腹。Uh, professional sumo wrestlers have big stomachs. So, see if you can come up with that sentence. Pause the video here. Likishi wa onaka ga okii desu. Likishi wa onaka ga okii desu. Onee san kami. My older sister's hair is blue. Pause here. See if you can come up with that sentence. お姉さんは髪が青いです。お姉さんは髪が青いです。犬耳。Pause the video here. 犬は耳が長いです。犬は耳が長いです。ワニ、口。Alligators have big mouths. Pause the video here. ワニは口が大きいです。ワニは口が大きいです。男の子、髪。The boy has short hair. Pause the video here. 男の子は髪が短いです。男の子は髪が短いです。おじさん、髪。So, おじさん、you may recall, is uncle, and 髪 is hair on one's head. This guy does not have any. How would you say, my uncle has no hair? Ponder that a moment. Pause, and when you think you've got it, hit play. おじさんは髪がありません。おじさんは髪がありません。Okay, that wraps up our video practice session. I'll give you some extra practice、uh, writing descriptions and another assignment online for you to get some、uh, further practice with this. Gambate!